welcome to another Moog demo library. Today we're going to look at how to use control voltage on Mariana. The Mografogers FX plugins introduced virtual control voltage, allowing you to interconnect Mografogers with each other and create a modular synth right in your DAW. Mariana takes this one step further with comprehensive control voltage inputs and outputs, allowing you to have numerous instances of Mariana speak with each other, as well as with all of the Mografoger FX plugins. To get started, you can open the control voltage panel by clicking on the CV icon or by pressing 6 on your computer keyboard. And that'll toggle it open and closed. Up top, you can see a unique four-digit identifier for every instance of Mariana. In this case, it's ampersand KQI. This code lets you distinguish this particular instance of Mariana from any other instance of Mariana that you may have open in your session. Below that, you have a list of control voltage inputs, eight in total, and control voltage outputs, again, eight in total. The CV panel is where you set up control voltage routings for further use in Mariana's modulation editor. So to get started, let's add a Mografoger to our session here. I'm going to add a MF-103 phaser. I'm just going to place it after Mariana in my signal chain. I'm going to move some things around. Let's say we want to use the Mografoger LFO to control something on Mariana let's say, oscillator 2 level on this, on this preset. I can access the control voltage on a Mografoger by clicking on CV, and you'll see the unique identifier for this Mografoger here. And if I click the drop-down menu for CV input 1, I can scroll down and see all of the Mariana CV outputs, and now I can also see the LFO from this instance of the MF-103. If I click LFO, I will make a connection and you can see this virtual quarter-inch jack back here patched in to the rear of Mariana. And you'll see that it illuminates in time with the control voltage source in question. If I raise the LFO rate, it's going to move faster. I can use the switch on the phaser to turn it into audio rate and go back to low frequency. And so now that I have a connection, I can use this control voltage just like any other modulation source in Mariana. I'll close the CV panel and open the modulation editor and click on oscillator 2 so that I can modulate oscillator 2 with the CV. Scrolling down the list of our modulation sources, I'll find CV1 and make a connection. And now you'll see that oscillator 2 level is moving in time with the MF103S. I can scale the modulation just like on any just like with any other modulation source i can invert the modulation and i can apply controllers and functions as well and you'll see that as i increase the rate it'll increase and as i decrease the rate it'll decrease You can also use the CV panel to use any of Mariana's modulation sources to modulate Mografogers. Mariana has a whole lot of modulation sources, including LFOs, envelopes, and random voltage generators. And if I open the CV panel and go down to control voltage output, I can use any of them from either of the two controllers panels to modulate any other Moog plugin in my DAW. For example, I can use a random voltage generator to modulate the MF-103 phaser, which doesn't have a random voltage generator. Finally, you can click Clear CV Routing to clear all of the control voltage routing and start over. The virtual control voltage capabilities of Mariana and the Mografogers allow you to create a modular ecosystem right in your DAW and you can use Mariana's wealth of modulation sources to modulate all of your Mografogers.